Welcome to my latest video um, using forms and glitter bells acrylics. So there I'm just showing you the correct fitting of a form and then I fast forwarded through and put them all on because they're fiddly. Um, I hate putting the forms on. So you can see I've already got an acrylic base on because I did myself some little short ones the other day. So I just built on them. So I filed them all down really thin and then I'm just building my extensions on. So I'm just using to start off with Pinkabelle cover acrylic. Just nice nude pink. So you see I'm doing my shape to the length I want and everything using my forms. And then as I, when I finished doing the next nail, I went back to the original nail, made sure it was right. And then I used my pincher to get a C curve. So this is the last one of this hand and I'm just showing you there how to remove a form um, and my C curve flash through very quickly. But, so now I'm going on, that's my white acrylic that I've mixed myself, it's just got a little shimmery fine gold and silver in it and then on the bottom of that one I'm using a Glitter Bell Showstopper and it's absolutely stunning catching light, I've tried to get it wiggling and dancing and everything so it catches all colour absolutely gorgeous so I did the same on my middle finger and my little finger and then my pointy finger and ring finger I'll tell you about them in a second So this one, see it's different, this one's called Boss Lady, it's absolutely gorgeous as well, catches all light, it's got rainbow colours in it as it catches light. And then just on top, I used Showstopper again, just to make it a little bit different, mix it up a bit. You see how impressed with sparkles there. As you can see, I'm doing a boss lady and showstopper on my ring finger again. It was really, really good. And then, yet again, flashing it off because it's so gorgeous. Just look at them sparkles. So, after I finished doing all glitter, I capped ev every nail in clear acrylic and filed it, shaped it. And now we're on with favourite bit ever, which is top coating. And this just makes it all pop out and come to life. Absolutely stunning. And then once it had been cured, I came back with a cuticle oil and give my cuticles a little bit of pampering as well. And it's all pretty and good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that little video, short one for you. So thank you for watching. Bye.